I'm gonna see if I can make my lighting better. This is gonna bother me, but is this better? I don't even know. Is it worth me losing my eyesight? Probably not. <sighs> All right, guess this is where we're at. Hi guys, and welcome back to Azaria's place. I'm sorry the lighting is so weird today. I don't really know how to fix that, but this is what we're working with. So we are jumping back into the Disney Princess 10 Generation Challenge. We are now pregnant again, I think. We are, oh my goodness, that's crazy. We are waiting on baby number three. Oh my gosh, that's kind of stressing me out. But yeah, so we just aged up happy in the last episode too. Oh, it's all coming back to me. We aged up happy. Doc is now our only baby in the house and we're waiting on baby number three. I feel like there's no need to refresh those rules today. We are just gonna dive in, but the link will be below for anyone interested to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to. Oh my gosh, this is where we left them and happy being our happy child. She always is, is crying and angry. Oh, it's because you're hungry. That's fine. And your dad's just in the background eating. She's a very vocal child. She's so cute, though. Look at them in their yellow and blue. Oh, she's so cute. Okay. Oh, and the baby's sleeping now that she stopped crying. So let's go take her downstairs. Oh, with all of our money. I need someone to take her downstairs. So just to refresh from the last episode, like I said, we can't, our toddlers can't go down the steps by themselves until they reach a certain level. So maybe we'll have her eat this thing. She'll just come, she'll come take this. It makes a toast. Perfect. Great. We're cooking with Crisco now. She's hungry. That's the only thing. So she was hungry when she aged up, apparently. Paola's just up here, chilling. It's 5.03 p.m. So maybe we'll like let him just, you know, build up his needs, I guess. He isn't really, he's not really important to us right now. Oh, this outfit's so cute. And oh my gosh, happy as crazy as she is. She's just the cutest, look at her. Oh my gosh, she's just the cutest. All right, so this is Happy's bedroom. She's got it all to herself. I don't know if she's gonna like that, but it's fine. Okay, so there isn't really much for us to do today. I think Snow is, she's thinking about feeding her baby. Her baby's asleep though, so like, just leave your baby alone. You need this time, Snow. All right, so maybe, let's see, does she have a book she can publish? She has the Snow Queen, frozen but not. All right, we are going, honestly, I kind of want to make a copy of this, but like, do we have the money to make a copy of this? $75. We're gonna spend it. <laughs> um, awesome. This is exciting. Oh, and then now the baby's crying. And Paolo, oh my god, Paolo's breaking things. The baby's crying. It never ends. It never ends in this house. Did you finish eating, Happy? Oh, I didn't even know you could put food on this bottom shelf. I've never seen that done. Alright, so we have made a copy of this. So I'm gonna put this in Snow's inventory. And she'll sell the original. She'll have a copy to read to her kids. Snow, you're trying to do everything here. I, I know that you're really trying. Oh, is Paolo... Paolo, like it's your... Alright, Paolo, make yourself useful and go cook some food or something. We're gonna have... Oh my goodness, our child is making a mess. Good. I forgot, we have to like parent. I have parenthood, so all these things happen. We have to clean that up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. I guess we need to work on this anyways because, I mean, she acquired the imagination skills, so I guess that's good. But basically, as I talked about, you have skills you have to build up, but you can also, when you have parenthood, you can get character traits, so it can be, um, polite, well-mannered, that kind of thing, you can get different character traits. And so basically it comes from teaching your children or helping them do more things around the house. So 
they'll, for instance, build up responsibility by making the, setting the table or doing chores around the house. So we technically do need to work on parenting a lot. Oh my goodness. So we'll have him clean this up and then maybe we should just start Happy on some potty training because if we can get her to all level fives in all of her skills, then we won't have to worry about her doing anything except for her positive character traits. So that might be the move with that. But then I'll have to bank out some more money for things that will help her build those other skills. So going back to the drawing board, she got the thinking skill. I don't know what she was doing though. How'd she get the thinking skill? What was she doing? I'll watch it and see what she was doing, but I'm confused. Um, but there is this like bear, I think, that will, it's less expensive than the iPads. Uh, so we'll get her something to play with. Blarfy, we'll get her a Blarfy. We'll go with this brown one, that matches our aesthetic, I think. Whew, we just love spending money in this house. And I guess we'll get, probably shouldn't, but we're gonna get some blocks. Uh, that way we can just leave her alone with that stuff and she can just kind of work on it herself. All right, so they're gonna potty train, I think. Okay, Paola, why don't you just keep banking out some food for the family? I can't wait till I can really like go in this house and really upgrade it and make it look the best it can possibly ever look. But we're kind of going through it in terms of the money department right now and I'm just spending it a little willy-nilly. Does she have a book? What is Snow reading? My peasy cat o polka. Polka. <laughs> uh, this piece was written as an homage to Bouchol's cat, Fiona. She loved music and swayed her tail to the best. Or, sorry. She loved music and swayed her tail to the beat whenever Elena played. Whenever Fiona is misbehaving, Bouchol's plays the peasy cat -o. All right. I can dig it. Is she gonna read this to her while she's potty training? I mean, that's effective, I guess. Oh, I love that Doc is just being our sweet babe up here. Sleeping. That's what we want to see. All right, we're gonna scurry this along. There's nothing really exciting happening except for Paolo cooking and being really tired. So we'll send everybody to bed and then let's check out Snow's progress. She is in her second trimester. When did that happen? That happened really fast, I feel like. Or no, sorry, second trimester in 12 hours. Okay, read his area, read. Happy, let's look at your needs. You're fine, but why don't you just like go to sleep? It's 10 o'clock. Paolo, I thought you were the most tired person ever. It took you a long time to make that salad, so. Oh, the counter's dirty now. All right, well, why don't you go to sleep? Oh my gosh, and Doc's asleep, but Doc is gonna wake up, I'm sure, as soon as everyone hits the hay. Oh, look at her in her little yellow. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, yep, and Doc's awake. Yep. Saw it coming. All right, and we've got like two days till his birthday. And then, oh gosh, and then our toddler. We only have like a week <laughs> to get her skills up. That's not a lot of time. <laughs> All right. Okay, kind of regretting putting my game setting on normal. And I now I remember why I had it on long. I can't wait to see what Doc looks like. Oh my gosh. This is just a pile of garbage sitting in your bathroom, so let's put that in the trash. All right, you can use the bathroom, and Paolo made us lots of food, so you can go in and get some leftovers. So we're gonna have her pick up a serving, grab a serving, yeah, and then we'll have her go back to bed. It's only 4.30 in the morning, it's fine. Aw, she's gonna stumble out here and eat with her mom. That's cute. Fun's gotta get up. We need her to start building her skills because honestly, we've only got like a week. So thinking level two. So she can stack, that'll help her movement. So I'm gonna scurry this along just to see how far we get. It's almost Doc's birthday. Wouldn't it be weird if we aged up Doc in this episode? Doc's crying, oh my gosh. Why is everyone neglecting this baby? Like, please don't neglect your child. And see, look, Happy can just do her own thing in here and skill build all day long. Doesn't that sound fun? Wow, she, yeah, she started on all of her skills, so that's good. We've got her at least on the, there's like a very tiny sliver <laughs> of communication, or excuse me, of thinking skill unlocked. So she's doing really good. She has to go to the bathroom, though. She has to get help until I think level two. 
Uh, Snow's reading a book. This family just loves their books, huh? She's reading Lord of the Swings. All right. Where is my synopsis? Hold on. All right, I guess we'll never know what Lord of the Swings is about. Okay, but she has to go to the bathroom. So actually, don't even don't even worry about Lord of the Swings. Potty train happy. Okay, there we go. Lord of the Swings. Here we go. The playground has dangerous has grown dangerous now that the school bully is back. Everyone is vying for the one swing, a swing that swings higher and faster than all others. Can Eduardo and his friends destroy the one swing before Byron the bully gets his grubby hands on it? This is an aggressive book. I don't know. Oh goodness, she's happy is not very happy. Oh my goodness. They're like arguing. Oh my goodness. All right, time to put the foot down. Okay, Paolo, you're doing your own thing. That's wonderful. But your baby's been upstairs crying for goodness knows how long. Sorry, Doc. I don't want you to get taken away, but that's the road we're going down, apparently. Is she angry? Or just, she, doesn't want, she doesn't want to. All right, girl. But we gotta get you level two so you can go by yourself. That would be really nice. We're going to just kind of ride this wave. We're gonna speed through this since everyone seems to be kind of okay. Um, and then Snow, oh, Powell's at parenting level three, that's good. And Snow is at, she's like in her second trimester, so she'll be in her third trimester in 24 hours. So $301, we're not doing too shabby. Paolo, just help your poor child feel better. Happy's just sitting on the potty. Oh my gosh, you were so close. All right, well, what can you do in the meantime? You can just hug, babble. I don't know why you would hit it, but oh my goodness, there's so much happening. We're back to this. All right, I just, I wanna know why she thinks this is okay. I don't care if you're friends now. It's not what you, oh, she's in her OG outfit. And again, we're scurrying along. Oh my gosh. Doc, are you worse than happy? I'm so confused. Oh, okay, Snow's, she's taking care of it. So, Paolo, don't you even... He has to go to work? Oh, no. We need his money. <sighs> go to work, Paolo. I keep... I forgot he has a job. I forgot he doesn't stay home with all of the precious gifts we have. Great. Great. We'll just scoop this. Oh, and the baby's crying, and Happy's also sad. Because their parent left, and I guess the baby also can sense that his parent has left him. All right. I think you're stinky, right? Okay, great. All right, Snow, this is your one chance to eat while you can. But your kid's asleep, your other one's just playing. Oh, level three communication. Yes. I guess we should just have her, like, walk around a little bit. Let's see, how's Happy doing? She could do better with like everything else. <laughs> uh, imagination, she can't play shapes yet because how do I get her imagination up without making a mess in our house? I guess we could have someone read to her. How about you wander? Why don't you work on your movement skill? Um, <laughs> this is a lot. A lot on my plate here. She wandered outside. Oh my goodness. Just by herself. Oh. Yeah, you're in the hot sun. You can die of uh, heat, of overheating in The Sims, but I don't think the toddlers can. That'd be pretty morbid if they could. Oh, and once again, our baby is crying. I'm just gonna assume it's their diaper. And it is. Look at that. Look at that. Who's surprised? Not me. All right, you're still wandering, but I told you to go inside. Movement level three, actually, it's all worth it because she definitely was movement level one, I think. Wait, oh, movement level two. I'm just blind, sorry. Does that say two? No, it says movement level three. This says movement level two. Where's, where's the truth? Yeah, that has to be three. I think my game's just taking its time getting there, but that's okay. Okay, it's fixed itself. Okay, just had a moment. 
You're hungry, but I told you to go eat like an hour ago, so whose fault is it? I wish that you could get the babies to sleep. I wish I could control them. That'd be really nice. When's Paolo coming home? That would also be really nice to know. Seven o'clock. Thank the Lord. All right, we might not get a baby in this episode, which is kind of sad, but that means for sure the next episode. For sure. 15 hours. Yeah, she's not even in the third trimester yet, so there's no point in waiting for that to come around. Oh, gosh. And a baby's crying, and it better not be Zoe Patel. <laughs> it's Zoe Patel again, so I... I think this is no this is not happening that's that's not happening you still can't go to the bathroom by yourself okay so uh I guess Paolo why don't you potty train her because at least then I think once they get to level two they can potty train themselves which would be very nice in this case Snow's had to use the bathroom a lot but I guess she is pregnant um and then it's only eight o'clock and like they're ready they're all ready to go to bed they're all not having a good time oh my gosh there's only so much these people can do in one day oh my goodness this is overwhelming i have to say it's a little overwhelming <laughs> all right well i don't think that we're getting a baby in this episode kind of sad but like i said we'll probably get one for sure in the next episode I feel like right now is just such a chaotic time, so I might just leave this where it is. We have a baby crying, we have another baby that's really tired and doesn't want to be potty trained anymore, but she's level two potty now as we look at it. Yeah, I think I think now might be a good time to just take a beat. Because, yeah, Doc's crying and Happy's angry, so I'm going to stop this right where it is. So we'll see what Doc looks like as a toddler. We're going to keep working on Happy's skill building. Hopefully have Snow write another book because we need money, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and somehow get Zoe Patel to get the hint that we're just not her friend at all. But yeah, so let's tune in next week and on to the show tune spotlight. Today's show tune spotlight is in theme with my mood, and it is I'm breaking down from falsettos. Huh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a little bit breaking down. It's partially because of the game, partially because life is just hard sometimes, but that's okay. Falsettos actually premiered in 1992. It actually was revived in 2016, so I would give that a listen. It actually consists of two musicals that were put together i believe uh i would look into it it's really good musical it's very fun the music and lyrics are by william finn so thank you guys so much for watching and next week is a disney week so tune in for whatever i decide to do for that thank you so much for watching and be kind